Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the latest features of YoYo. To those of you who are not familiar with YoYo yet, YoYo is a, this board. Uh, it's a board that lets you connect external hardware to an Android phone. What makes it special is first, it's very small and cheap. It costs about $50. Second, it works on any version of Android, starting from version 1.5. And last, it doesn't require you to write any firmware at all, only software for Android. Uh, this is a very simple demonstration of some of the features. I'm connecting YoYo to the phone using a USB cable. And over here, I have a potentiometer and a servo motor. Sliding my finger on this uh, bar here, the servo moves and I don't know if it shows well in the video but I have a potentiometer here and when I turn it the numbers here change so this is basically a demonstration of PWM output and analog input uh, another little feature that I have here is this button that uh, controls the LED that's on the board now that's already old news uh, what's new starting this week is that you don't no longer need the cable. So let's take it off. And I'm using a standard Bluetooth dongle. This one costs about uh, three dollars. I'm connecting it, and as you can see, the connection is immediately re-established over Bluetooth, and I can control. Uh, the exact same features uh, without being physically connected. So that opens the door for um, remote control toys, etc. The transition from uh, Bluetooth to a wired USB connection is completely seamless. Uh, as you can see, I, I don't need to restart the application. Uh, if I now disconnect Bluetooth and reconnect over USB, Immediately, connection is re-established. This application is much simpler. All it lets me do is turn the onboard LED on and off using a button on the screen. However, since we're using Bluetooth, we're no longer limited to one YoYo device. Over here, I have a second Bluetooth-enabled YoYo. And from the same application, I can control both of them. In this case, they just do the same thing, but that just depends on my application. They could have done completely separate things. Another thing we're no longer limited to is um, using an Android phone. So using Bluetooth, we can now control GIOs from PCs or any other Bluetooth-enabled devices.